Sarah, the owner and maker behind Multifarious Nature. Thank you so much for joining me today. This is going to be a very special video, and I'm going to kind of try to do a long intro here, just in case you don't want to be, uh, or don't want to ruin the surprise, and you happen to be one of those people that scrolls over videos and they start playing. I don't want you to have that surprise ruined if you really do not want to watch this video. Um, if you've purchased the advent and you don't want to know what it looks like this year, then please do not watch this video. If you accidentally clicked on it, please don't watch it. I do not want to ruin this and spoil the fun. Um, I love advent season. I love taking the time to slowly open a package each day. Um, this one is my 2023 Christmas advent for Multifarious Nature, and it is designed as sock sets. So they will be opened. There's four sock sets, and they will be opened each Sunday starting December 3rd through the 24th of December. So I, I want to kind of share this. This is a video for those of you that may purchase the Advent or are debating on purchasing the Advent. Um, probably more for those of you that have are debating on purchasing the Advent because if you purchased it, you probably want to not be, you want to be surprised. You do not want to know what the Advent is. So if you purchased it, please don't watch this video. <laughs> I'm going to say this a bunch of times and probably over say it, but I just want to make sure that nobody, uh, the surprise isn't ruined for anyone. This is more for those of you that are still trying to figure out if you want to purchase the Advent, but you really want to know what the colors are first because it is an investment and you want to make sure that they're colors that you will enjoy, which I completely understand. Um, I, I love color. There are very few colors that I don't like, so but I do understand that you want to make sure that you enjoy the colors. So I hope you'll enjoy these colors. And if so, um, at the moment, <laughs> I cannot speak for when you watch this video, but at the moment I am recording it, I do still have two in the shop. So if you do want to hop on over and purchase one, definitely make sure you do so. However, if when you get there and there's none left, I'm sorry, I have a limited supply and they are died up as pre-orders. I die up a few extra and that's it. So once they're gone, they're gone. Um, but that's kind of part of the fun of Advents. So, all right, without further ado, and let's see here. I am only a couple minutes in. I will start talking about some of the specs before I start showing the colors, just in case you really lost your marbles and got on here and didn't realize that it started. <laughs> so, um, the 2023 Christmas Advent for Multifarious Nature has like I said, four sock sets. So the sock sets consist of four 20 gram minis and four 100 gram minis. So they are 100 gram, or minis, 100 gram skeins. So they're not 50 gram skeins. I know some sock sets come with a 50 gram. I gave you guys 100 grams and a 20 gram. That way, it really doesn't limit you. The options are pretty endless. They are designed as sock sets and they are coordinating colors to for that purpose. However, you really can do whatever your heart desires and whatever your imagination comes up with. You really can do a lot with Advents. Um, I did write down the yardage here. It's about 2,220 yards. So that's a lot of yarn total in this whole Advent. So you can make blankets with that, like throw blankets. You can, because I've done that before with Advents. You can make, um, let's see, garments. You can make a sweater if you'd like, depending on your size. Um, you can pretty much make most sweaters. You can do shawls, of course. Shawls are always a great option. And I mean, you can make ornaments. You can really do whatever you want. Don't let um, patterns limit you. And that will lead me to my first part of the advent that I will be revealing. Um, I'm not gonna tell you the details. I'm just gonna show you. And if you can somehow zoom in, then you'll know, but. <laughs> I'm drinking a delicious, it's peanut butter. Uh, chocolate brownie, David's tea. I purchased it for my advent last year. It's so good. <sighs> okay, sipping on something cozy on this creepy <laughs> rainy day. It is a rainy fall day here in Michigan and it's, I think it's 60 degrees. I love it. Okay, so I'm wearing this wonderfully rustic sweater. I did not make this. Um, this is a sweater that was made in Ireland, according to the tag. My mom found it at thrift store, and whew, what a treasure it was. Okay, 
So the first thing when you open your advent, you will find, other than obviously your wrapped sock sets, you will see this little card. Oops, there we go. I always include a little card with the little um, description of the advent for the year. Uh, just something I like to always include. And then I also always like to include recommended patterns. I do not give patterns um, with the advent. I do that on purpose. I know um, it does deter some people because they want the patterns, but I don't want you to buy a pattern that you don't like. You know, I'm, I'm very big on that. <laughs> so myself, I'm pretty picky about certain patterns. So I would rather recommend some patterns and then you do with it what you will. You either can make those patterns or you can purchase other patterns. Um, I will tell you that these are all patterns that um, you have to purchase, so they don't come with it. Um, I will tell you I have knit two of these patterns and I absolutely love them. So if you go on past videos, you can see some of the socks I've done or worked on. Um, I can tell you that two of these patterns that I've knit on, I've also made multiple socks. So I highly recommend these patterns. Um, the other pattern is a pattern I'm going to be knitting with my advent, uh, my multifarious nature advent that I kept for myself. Um, so it's from a Michigan designer and I'm really excited to knit up a pair. So I guess I can tell you that pattern because the other ones you can find in my videos, but I will tell you that pattern. I'm have no problem supporting other artists. So the pattern is the Ridgeline Boot Socks by Fawn, I think it's Boosler. Sorry if, if I am pronouncing that wrong, but um, yeah, they're really cute. They're Ridgeline Boot Socks. It, you use your mini and then um, your full size skein and they are really cute. They um, have a design where you have that reinforced heel and then you also have um, kind of a ribbed reinforced around the middle of your foot, which helps it hug your foot and um, will probably help with socks not moving around as much, which is kind of key when you're wearing boots. So very cute. And I think it has a folded over cuff on the top, if I remember correctly. There's very little color work, so there's just a little bit at the top and kind of fun detail on the toe. So definitely recommend checking that out. And that pattern again is the Ridgeline Boot Socks, and that's one that I recommend in this list. All right, so now I'm going to show you the packaging uh, that they'll come in. So they're going to come. This is one of the skis wrapped here. Don't worry, there's no surprise yet. You're not going to see the color. It's still a surprise. Um, they are wrapped in here. I will let you know they have a really cute detail, how they are packaged together in there, and you'll see that in a moment. And then... Um, they're just wrapped in here. I have double wrapped paper. That way you really cannot see it. I do not want any spoilers until you open it the day that it is labeled as. So they are labeled with the day to open them. So we have day three, Sunday the 10th, the 17th, and sorry about the paper being noisy, but, and then the 24th. So they are all labeled with the corresponding dates and they have really fun details of little fabric ties which you know a lot of my sock sets that's how I put them together I love that rag strip style I think it's really cute um, that was inspired by my mom because she uh, hasn't recently but she likes to do rag rugs and she's a weaver as well as a painter but um, she started with weaving and I always remember growing up all the weaving. So rag strips are, I always remember her making rag strips for her rag strip rugs and it was kind of fun to do that again because, I don't know, I was having flashbacks. <laughs> All right. Are you guys ready? I'm going to get into the colors and I'm so excited. <laughs> I wrapped this. I this, There's one set that I didn't wrap so I could show you guys this. So I have to wrap these after I'm done recording this video. But um, I wrapped, even wrapped like my set. I even wrapped my set up, but I kept one unwrapped so that I could show you guys. So these are in the order you'd be opening them. That way this will be consistent. <laughs> so, so this is your last and final warning. I'm going to show the colors for the Multiverse Nature 2023 Christmas Advent. So if you do not want to see it, 
look away. Actually, you know what? Uh, before I show it, I'm gonna. There's a couple more specs that I want to talk about, and then I'll show you. I know the anticipation is killing me. <laughs> All right. Um, anyway, so I just wanted to reiterate: it definitely is an excellent gift, not only for any fiber enthusiast in your life, um, but you know, even for yourself, it's a really fun gift. I know I love getting Advents every year. That's my special gift that I usually always ask for for my husband for Christmas. I love getting an Advent. I love supporting other small businesses and other um, dyers and uh, either like small... Um, I haven't purchased one with farm yarn yet, but I would love to get an Advent um, that is farm yarn because that is... More rustic wool is kind of has a special place in my heart at the moment. <laughs> but I just love to support small businesses is what I'm trying to get at. So yeah, it's just a really fun way that you can do that and it's seasonal. So I'm not someone who creates Advents all year round. I only do the countdown calendar during Christmas time. So it's a very special time of year for me. So it is, is a special thing that you can do for yourself or others. Um, I did want to let you know that I am doing international orders. I have opened myself up to that, but there is a disclaimer. I am a very small business and for me to be able to do international orders, I, I am sorry to say that customs fees will have to be covered by the purchaser. So if you are an international customer, I'm sorry, I can't cover those costs, but um, so that would fall on you but I am more than happy to ship to international customers. I just want to put that disclaimer out there so you're not surprised when there are customs fees that you have to pay. Okay, <laughs> there we go. So that disclaimer, um, someday I hope not to have to do that, but at the moment it's just, it's really hard for me to be able to cover that. So there you go. Uh, I just also wanted to reiterate that the shipping for these advents will be at the end of October. So that is just around the corner. And um, of course, after that, I would ship it right away when it's ordered. But if you order it right now, it won't be shipping until the end of October. All right, now let's get into the colors. <laughs> I think I have really belabored it enough that those who do not want to see it will not be have their surprise ruined. Okay, so the very first colorway set, ooh, so excited, <laughs> is a Holiday Cheer Sock Set. So this is the Holiday Cheer Sock Set. They are all beautifully layered colors. So this is the first one. It comes with this beautiful label that gives you the information as to um, fiber content, yardage, all that good stuff, as well as the name, there you go, of the colorway at the top, or the sock set, I should say, is up there as well. Um, yeah, so this is the first one. So they come really sweetly packaged. They have the little rag strip, as I talked about, and I um, alternate colors on the advent. So you'll see each sock set kind of has a different color. And then, um, there's, so there's this beautiful colorway here, kind of a poinsettia color. And as I said, the holiday cheer. So this reminds me a lot of more of the seasonal, excuse me, seasonal flowers and how, I mean, usually when you look at your decorations throughout your house, a lot of the flowers are more subdued and you'll get more browns, but there's also, you know, holly and poinsettias, which is beautiful red with your greens. And that is what I was capturing with this color. So it's very layered. It is a variegated speckled. So lots and lots of fun colors going on, which adds so much fun to the knitting process when you are knitting up a sock. I love layer colors and speckled colors. It just, it adds so much interest to the knitting process. So again, this is the very first one that you'll get. I'll show all of them together at the end so you can see them again. But this is that holiday cheer sock set. The next one is another super fun layered one, of course. These are all layered colors. <laughs> I keep I keep saying that, but um, this is By the Chimney with Care, and this is the second sock set you will open. It has a super fun red plaid tied scrap on there. And you can see this one, By the Chimney with Care, is I grew up with a fireplace at my parents with a wooden mantle and raw, like, 
like rustic brick is pretty much what it looks like. Very typical, like chimney mantle fireplace is what it looks like. So that is what this one is all about. You've got, you know, by the chimney with care, you'll have your stockings. And so you've got um, the wonderful browns from the fireplace end of things, the, the mantle, the hearth, right? So you've got lots of warm colors. There's some reds, there's some navies. There's, it's just, it's super layered, lots of fun speckles and very cozy. There's even some golden tones in there, a little bit here and there. And then there's this beautiful golden color that goes with it. I absolutely love this color. I, I just love it. I want to recreate it because I just think it's so fun. I'm not a big yellow person normally, but these warmer colors really speak to me. And yeah. so this is a super fun one. This is a definitely fun contrast. It'll have a fun pop. So, you know, you've got this subdued, more moody colors, and then you get this fun pop of this almost, it's not exactly mustard. It's just this golden yellow. Again, that's by The Chimney With Care. The third sock set you'll be opening um, lends itself a little bit to the cooler tones. Um, so we went from more of the warmer tones and now we're gonna get into the cooler tones. So this is Silent Night. This is the Silent Night sock set. So again, another super fun. It's a green and black and gray little rag strip on here. And then of course you've got your label detailing with this kind of candy cane looking cording. And this is that Silent Night colorway. Well, it's a sock set, but so the Silent Night sock set. So it's this stunning layered, kind of a teal. It's a, it was um, inspired a lot with, well, of course by the photos. I All of these colorways were inspired by the photos and I hope you can see that. Um, this one really gets that, that deep, layers so they get some red in here. I love adding red. I just love it. So you're going to see red in a lot of these because I absolutely love that color. There's some reds in here. There's like some deep purples. There's um, definitely your teal kind of going through. This is a more tonal variegated. So it's variegated but it lends itself to being a little more tonal. Um, you can see some of these more fun pops in here. And yes, definitely reminiscent of those cool, crisp evenings. If you think during the winter time when the sun, uh, the, moon, the sun, the moon is glowing and the whole world just lights up with this blue glow. I don't know how else to describe it than that. I love going on evening walks. I mean, I'm someone who usually works until it's dark outside. So when I get home, it's like my only time being outside is at night usually. And so it just, that glow that kind of takes over the world in the evening in the winter time that is what this is about so silent night is this one and then the complementing contrasting color is this really wonderfully warm gray so it is a warm gray it is a gray it definitely lends itself to the warmer side of things but it's still cool it's kind of that in between and i feel like it goes so well with that blue teal speckle colorway. So it's a silent night. Socks up. And then last, but certainly not least. And I, I love all of these colorways, but this one just, they all worked out the way I wanted them to. And this one I had a lot of high hopes for. It took a lot of layering and many hours of work. <laughs> But I got exactly what I was hoping for, and I, I hope you guys love it as much as I do. So this is the final sock set that you would be opening up the Christmas Eve, basically. It's the day before Christmas, and the name fits. So <laughs> it is Vintage Christmas Sock Set, and there you go. <laughs> so this is Vintage Christmas. I absolutely love this colorway so much. I love all of them. I'm a big, moody, deep color colorway but this one it's just so fun and I feel like being able to knit on this on Christmas Eve and then into Christmas Day 
I'm very much looking forward to it. I am going to be knitting this as you guys will, so I'll be opening these each Sunday and kind of knitting along. I obviously will not knit the next one until I finish the first because I just know myself if I don't do that I'll have so many socks on the needles but I'm super excited about this one so yes this is a very heavily speckled um, there's definitely a little variegation but it's more of a heavily speckled colorway so I did some really fun techniques with this and I ah. <laughs> I'm kind of like almost, almost at a loss of words. I can't speak. I'm so excited. So there's beautiful deep greens in here and deep blues, grays even. Um, there is this, there's some speckling of a deep peach color throughout as well. That was kind of the fun um, nod to a vintage Christmas tree. That's why um, it's called Vintage Christmas Socks because I always think of those vintage Christmas trees where you have like really fun bows that they put in there and there was a photo that is in one of the last uh, inspiration photos that really inspired this, this colorway so much. This one really focused more on that photo. So it is a vintage Christmas tree and it has this woman that's in the photo and she's standing by the tree in a gorgeous gown that has this really soft peachy like pink boy it's absolutely stunning <laughs> and that's the contrast color that goes along with it and then this is the very reminiscent of the tree there's the pretty colors it is one of those um almost those vintage trees that kind of have almost a snow look to it, um, almost metallic. And then there's all the pretty decorations and this peachy um, or salmon-y color is kind of reminiscent of these, they're, I think they're bows that are in the tree. And I always think of like vintage trees as a lot of times what they would decorate with things like that. So this is vintage Christmas, of course, with a really fun red plaid on there. So that is the final Sunday for the Christmas Advent, and I'm going to show you all of them together. Guys, I'm so excited. So here are all of the sock sets together. Hopefully you can see them all. <laughs> there you go. So there, there's all of them. Don't worry. This is not going to be the image at the beginning of this because I don't want to ruin the surprise. But... I hope you guys love it. They are all on, um, which this is on the listing as well. It's the 75-25 base, 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon, excellent for socks, very durable. So I have accidentally thrown those type of socks in the wash. Not on purple, not on purpose, but they whew, luckily did not shrink to the extent that I couldn't wear them. <laughs> but I do not recommend putting them in the wash. Um, I always recommend hand washing your knitted garments and uh, washing them in cool water and then laying them flat to dry. I always recommend that just because, but it'll help keep the longevity of your knits, that's for sure. So there is all of the sock sets together. So you can see how you can make a really fun blanket, shawl, and the sky is the limit. You can do whatever you want with this, but I'm going to be making socks out of them. But really, you could do whatever you want. So that is it. It's not a super long video, and I wanted to just show you guys so that if you're on the fence, you're not sure, but you really want to buy one, but you really want to know what the colors look like first. I hope that um, convinced you that these are colors you love as well and you would enjoy it. And if that's the case, make sure you hop on over to multivariousnature.com. Of course, I always have the link below and um, make sure you go and snag yours before they're gone. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your week and I look forward to catching up with you soon. Take care. Bye.